The size of the previews that come in are directly controlled by preferences inside of Aperture. Make sure you go over to the Previews tab and you'll see the size. Now, normally I have this set to half size, but I'm going to switch that over to Don't Limit and move my preview quality over to High. Now, you could get by with 10, but if you want the maximum quality JPEG, bump that up to 12. For me, I find that 10 is usually good enough. Now, you've already got existing previews here, so it's a good idea to go into the photos and select everything. If you hold on the Option key now, you can choose and Option click and you see Generate Previews. Now, the Previews option is there with Update, but Generate is going to force everything to be redone. This will hand these all off and take even existing files and force them to generate new previews. Now, given the size of the library, this can take a bit of time, so let this process finish before you invoke the final Aperture import. The first thing that's happening here is it is being scheduled, meaning it's really queuing the process up. Now, this first progress indicator is not everything that it's going to take to make those previews. Mind you, this is just Aperture being sure that it can find everything to create the previews. Once that's done, at the bottom here, you'll notice processing. If you click on this, you can see what's happening. This shows you the previews are being generated. Now, with over 26,000 previews to process, this is going to take a while for my library, so let's let that finish, and then we'll come back to the next step.